Hi, Nina. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank Come you for in. having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Come on in. <laughs> okay, so Always good to have you. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited to finally like sit down and do this because I feel like it's something we've been wanting to do forever and we've never like archived this. Right. You know, like the process of it. And I feel like all the stories that when we do do this is like really special. And so yeah. I really wanted to sit down and pick out a new sari one. Okay. If that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So I go through like this, basically it's a big suitcase of like all of our heirloom saris. And now that you have moved to New York, right? which do you want to tell the people when you moved? So I moved um, in June of 2022. Yeah, um, I guess officially. No. Officially. Well, I actually moved here May 2021. Right. And then the complete move happened in June 2022. Yeah. So with that move also came basically cleaning out your old house, our yeah. old house. And that was a process. And that's when we had to go through all of the saris. Um, and so usually I would go home and just like grab something and ask you and you would share. But um, today I wanted to actually find the pictures, which you did. So Mama D found the pictures of when she used the saris. And we actually did digitize some of the footage and everything because of the old footage that we had, which highly recommend. It's like worth just going through the process and like just storing these memories because I feel like everything that I've always said is like we we are the people to tell our stories. And I've realized that at least for me, I think the only story time I actually get with you is when we do this. <laughs> Cause like there's so many memories attached to, to the saris and when you wear them. Um, but I asked you to pull a couple because I really wanted to show the first one because right. this was like one of the first sari dresses I designed. Right. And this was from your engagement sari. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you didn't, I'm not gonna lie mom, you didn't seem like too, too attached. Well, this is actually um, when um, the morning of the wedding, when they actually do the bride ceremony. Oh, the pelikutra. Mm. So that's when this is. Did you pick it out? Um, yeah. Oh, with Amama's help. <laughs> Where, why did you choose it? Because um, I liked the color and uh, the border I liked. And it's a double color. The body has two colors in it. And uh, yeah, I like the border and the color and the color combination. Oh, this is a nice picture. Are you looking yeah. in the mirror? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you had such long hair. Yeah. That's not your real hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> like this is this is actually your real hair. Is my hair? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, your hair. What? How long was your hair then? My hair, original hair, you can't see in these pictures because we always use. That was uh, much. That was later, but that's how long. It was. And you always brushed it out. Yes. Always brushed it out and braided it. And then when did you start wearing it curly? Always curly. No, but brushed this it. is brushed to curly. Well, that was just, yeah, we didn't try to straighten it or anything. That was just Yeah, curly. but you never left it curly. No. No, not I until here. Left, no. Yeah. I didn't leave it curly until I was in mid-40s, I guess. <laughs> when did Maybe you so. decide to do that? Um, I think after you guys told me to. <laughs> <laughs> really? We that. told you? I think so. I mean... I think you and Nina suggested that I should probably try that. I think I tried that in Michigan probably. I think so, because yeah. I feel like there was a moment where, because we've always had curly hair, and I feel like there was a moment where we knew that we like, because we would always brush our hair. Right. And then me and Akka were like, oh, actually we shouldn't be brushing our hair out. We need to leave it that way. And then we had told you that, and then we went, I don't know if we went to a curly hair stylist because I don't think we ever did. There was a, there just wasn't one available in any of our towns. Um, but that was 
like the first time we got like product for curly hair that was at least happened um but i still i mean i did not like this is like i looked i looked like a boy mom like why did like why i don't know that's what my mom did to me when i was young <laughs> so i thought that would be you know easier for you and, and <laughs> easier cute and cute I don't know. Like this is. But sometimes maybe it's just the hairdresser. Probably because she didn't get the right instructions. She just, I said, just make it short. That's what she did. So she did. She did get the right instructions, Mom. <laughs> um, yeah, this was this was a really this was a this was a tough hair time. I'm not gonna lie, because it was in between curly and like brushing and. It was just a lot. It was, I still didn't, we still didn't know how to maintain it. And that was a process. And actually, do you want to know something? So yesterday I went to get my hair done mm -hmm. for curly because it's actually harder to get it done curly, as you know, for me at least, mm -hmm. than straight. Mm -hmm. And the person doing my hair, he was like, he was like, oh, what ethnicity are you? And I said, oh, my parents are from South India. And he said, I feel like you have to be mixed with something else because I've never seen anyone with your hair texture. Like I have so many Indian clients, but they all have like, he's like maybe wavy hair, but never like your type of curls. And I said, no. He hasn't seen enough Indians. I was like, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's definitely a lot of us that exist. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, cause there is a bunch of, but is it mostly South Indian? people I, I guess like most yeah, mostly more but south we, indians than north indians there's also north but very there's more south indians with this kind of hair. with curly hair yeah so i was like there's there's a lot of us and we're learning how to manage it still as an ongoing process so 20 years later we're getting there we're getting there people mm -hmm. um, but you'll get to see all these gems of what it used to be um okay i got sidetracked back to the sorry um what did where did you and Amama go? To buy the sari uh, in Vijayawada. We bought this. Uh, actually, no, actually, there was a sari fair that was going on. And then, uh, so um, Amama had all the different sari um, people come home. So they brought their stuff. So we actually picked out because we had different vendors in the house with all their stuff. So there's people from Kanchipuram, which is one of the most famous South Indian silks and then there were people from uh, Dharmavaram which is in uh, Andhra Pradesh, another city place. So we had people from three or four places that brought saris and then we all chose the wedding stuff from them. Uh, and then the Pelikutru? Well, well, some stuff, you know, um, this this happened then, but the wedding sari was in a different place. And the Pelikutru ceremony is what? That's when they decorate the bride and they, um, it's not the wedding time, but the, but the girl is decorated as a bride and everybody blesses the bride. Yeah. Family and, and then, yeah, and then they do the puja, the parents, with the parents. Yeah, the first sari that I used of yours was the engagement sari. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, I wore it for that ZTV thing. Right. Oh yeah. And I don't remember, yeah. I don't know if you remember saying this, but when I came and I asked you, oh, like what sari can I use kind of thing. And I just loved the color. That one was so, that one was probably one of your best saris. Um, I don't think I realized it at the time, like how good it was or how, yeah. what, I didn't know what it was going to become. Like I knew it was beautiful and I loved it, but I didn't know how it was going to be received. Mm -hmm. And that just ended up taking a life of its own. But when I when I took it, you said, "Oh, like, do you maybe want to like wait until like something like engagement, maybe wedding or something?" I was like, "Mom, I don't know when that's gonna be," <laughs> and so I know that this is happening now. So I'm gonna use it for this. And it was my like it was my it was a big premiere. It was ZTV when I was hosting Made in America, and that was 2016. It was coming out. Um, so it was like my first ever like true TV premiere. Um, so it was really special to wear for that. <laughs> um, but today I came looking for things because I have, as you know, a lot of things. I can't share what exactly what the event I have coming up yet right now, but you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And so I need a new sari for that and I want something meaningful and special. And we have not gone through mom's, oh, all of our saris and stuff. So we're going to go, we're going to go through all the things and see what we find. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 